billion dollars to a new level of $28.98 trillion, which is what the Treasury says it requires to keep the government open. Now the government will be open until December, as Democrats face an October 31st deadline on their infrastructure bill vote. The spending package is now being cut down. Uh, we're understanding to around $2 trillion, but hopes for some to raise the cap on SALT deductions are likely dead. We're talking about that right now with New York Congresswoman and Transportation and Infrastructure Committee member, Foreign Affairs Committee member as well, Nicole Maliotakis. And Congresswoman, it's always a pleasure. Thanks very much for being here. Let me get your take on all of this. We started with four bills. Uh, now we've got punting two and three. We're punting some of these bills to later on in the year, hiking the debt limit by $480 billion to $28.98 trillion. These numbers are wildly high. Your thoughts on where we are? Well, my thoughts are that Congress is just not, not just have the power of the purse, but they have an obligation to ensure that these tax dollars are spent appropriately. And when you look at some of the inspectors general reports that have come out with how COVID relief has been riddled with waste and fraud to the tune of maybe hundreds of billions of dollars, uh, and also look at what is occurred in Afghanistan, where billions more have been wasted, and you hear Secretary Blinken wanting to send more money there, you know, my issue is that we should be reducing some of the funds that we're spending as opposed to increasing the debt limit. And so I'm very concerned about what Congress is about to do here, but I'm equally as concerned about this three and a half trillion and whether it ends up being two trillion or three and a half trillion doesn't matter. The reality is, is that it's continuing to indebt future generations. It's continuing to increase inflation and put pressure on the cost of goods on every American family. And we know as New Yorkers, when Democrats tell you that they're going to create programs that are supposed to ease the burden on working and middle class, what does it do? It increases our taxes, it increases our cost of living, and it's driving New Yorkers out. It's certainly not a framework that we should be implementing now on the federal level.